Well, hello, it's Sam Lowe, representative in the 39th district. Just giving you a quick brief update. We had our two town halls. The first one we had was in Lake Stevens on Saturday morning. We had a full house with lots of great questions. In the afternoon, we were in Cedro Woolley where we had another full house and a lot of different questions, but people concerned about issues here in Olympia. So we did finish the house of origin cutoff which means all the bills that we've been working on for the first half of session are now over in the Senate. We just have a few financial bills left we're trying to send over. And now all the Senate bills are coming over to us. And so we're busily going through the Senate bills, working through the language in those bills. Some of those bills match up to the current bills we have. And so we see where the, the changes are that are different or the same and try to work through those issues. So one of the big surprises was a police pursuit bill. We had a bill that passed through the House, through the committees, and was ready to be voted on in the House. And that never came up for a vote. So we had a bill in the Senate that was brought up unexpectedly, and that bill did pass out of the Senate on a very close vote. And so now that bill will be over here in the House and our committees to work through. It's not the strongest bill on police pursuits, but it's a bill that we can work with and hopefully get passed out so we can have more tools in our community for our law enforcement to do their job and to help uh, cut down on crime in our communities. Another uh, bill is the Blake bill that's come over to the House and that's to deal with drug possession. There is a, a small fix to that that we're looking at and so that will be going through the committee. And my encouragement is to each and every person here, if you're concerned about the police pursuit bill, if you're concerned about the Blake decision, to look at where those bills are, send us an email, let us know your thoughts on it so that we can get the right amendments and the right things put on those particular bills. Moving forward, uh, we're working on the financial aspects of the budget. We expect the uh, transportation budget to be re uh, released in the next week or so. Uh, we're waiting for the financial update, which will be out on Monday. And uh, once we get that financial update, you'll start seeing some of the different bills go forward to deal with finances. Uh, and that will also include capital budget requests. And we have some tremendous needs in our district, uh, some needs in Skagit County especially, and, and also in Snohomish County. And so we'll be working through those requests, uh, pairing it with the money that's come in, uh, that's projected to come in, and, and see where we end up with our capital budget requests. So I want to thank everyone again who came out to the town halls. We'll have some more town halls as we get towards the end of session or just at the end of session, which ends on April 23rd. And then we'll be back in the community all summer to hear exactly uh, what needs you have, what we can work forward and, and start uh, going forward towards 2024.